Was that your laptop? For real, I don't know. I know, but, but you know that's this is I really a, don't know okay. what the answer is. That's you don't know answer. yes or no if the laptop was yours. I don't have any yours. idea. I have no idea. So could not. have been yours. Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that I was hacked. It could be that it was the that it was Russian intelligence. I gotta ask you the basic question that anyone that's watching this, how do you not know if that's your laptop? I, I, <laughs> I mean, I have no idea. I mean, obviously, this guy was or was a, dr a drug addict, um, you know, so, you know, perhaps he has memory issues. But I mean, let's be real. It's an absolute joke. The content of the laptop uh, had pictures of Hunter Biden on the laptop. Okay, the emails were all about Hunter Biden, Burisma, his father, his business dealings. This, it, it, the problem with this story uh, is that. Obviously, everyone knew that the Bidens were lying through their teeth on this issue. And quite frankly, it exposed that the Bidens were no, no different than the corrupt Clinton machine. But it's that the mainstream media let the lie just go right by in the critical hours of the election. And the American people were deprived of the truth of this political and money machine that the Biden family created. He came to my apartment one time, and this is when he was still in office. As vice president, and so he kind of ditched his secret service, figured out a way to get over to the house. And I said, "What are you doing here?" He said, "Honey, what are you doing?" I said, "Dad, I'm fine." He said, "You're not fine." You know, I spent more time on my hands and knees, picking through rugs, um, smoking anything that re even remotely resembled crack cocaine. I probably smoke more Parmesan cheese than anyone <laughs> anyone that you know, I'm sure, Tracy. <laughs> because there'd be crumbs yeah. mixed in and yeah, you just it, yeah. I mean I went one time for thirteen days without sleeping and smoking crack and drinking vodka exclusively throughout that entire time. Hi everyone, good afternoon. I was going to tell you all to be seated, but I see you are already seated, so we can begin. Uh, first, the President is still working on his jokes for the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I don't have any details on that other than he intends to be funny, very funny. Uh, so now um, I'll uh, take your questions. Who is President Bartlett? I think you know the answer to that question. <laughs> so thank you for the opportunity to be here today and to highlight this important issue. And now I return the podium to its rightful owner, <laughs> Josh. Thank Can you. I have so much. Uh, President Biden's son was pointedly asked yes or no if that MacBook Pro that was dropped off at a Delaware computer repair shop in 2019 was his. Here's this uh, soundbite. Could be that it was the that it was Russian intelligence. You know, it's shocking that this man is trying to push a Russia narrative while he's being interviewed. He knows darn well that can laptop is his. His signature was on the receipt. We know that uh, it's in FBI hands. I think the bigger question for Americans now is what happened to the laptop? It basically showed collusion with his family and their interests in China and their investments with China. I'm stunned that he was let off so loosely with this. They never addressed that the investigation that was going on supposedly with our Department of Justice of that laptop the FBI, uh, he was let off quite easily. It's disgraceful what this family, uh, how often and consistently this family just straight up lies to the American people. Bobby, I really got 15 seconds for you. Your thoughts? Yeah, I just, I love it that he threw in the Russia. You got to throw in the Russia. They probably think that that's what people are going to just dwell on. It's his laptop with his signature, as Jesse said. Yeah. What we need to do is look at the contents and figure out what is the FBI doing. Let's get the results out there so we know and can go after the Bidens like we should. 